I am Marguerite Elliott, and I've had the pleasure of knowing Edgar Angeloni for many years, and I've been honored to show his exquisite photographs in my gallery. Edgar Angeloni has been described by many people as being both quiet and intense, and you can see that reflected in all his work. He's a master in the darkroom, having spent many years developing the platinum printing process and gelatin silver prints. His subject matters range from intimate landscapes to beautiful abstractions. A recent series of his is about a soulful cafes that are filled with quietness and ghosts. You know, being born in Argentina has kind of a, a mixed feelings. Um, it was very difficult at the time I was, you know, going through a lot of the problems that um, Argentina had at the time. So some parts of that was, you know, very difficult experience, but but today, looking back, you know, it has given me strength, it has given me the opportunity to look at experiences in a very different way, uh, being more patient, uh, more creative, uh, try to incorporate the suffering, the light, the darkness in my work, which is, again, is the representation of that experience. Um, the darkness part is I try to use as much uh, contrast as possible, trying to preserve the details. The light is what is going to bring the main um, focus in the image, uh, which is the transformation, that that experience of being in suffering and that taking the suffering as a positive part of your life and make it uh, a worthwhile experience. Majority of people like to see beauty, like to see happiness, like to see things that make them feel better. Uh, so for me is to be able to show the light in a way that is positive, but at the same time never forget uh, about the suffering and the pain that is with us all the time. Music for me is an uh, inspirational and an emotional experience, which pretty much is related to experience that I have when um, I feel that I have the view or in a specific topic of thing that I want to photograph. It is the same experience that I get when I'm in the dark room and that particular photograph comes alive. Is, is just, uh, it's truly an emotional experience. So, for me, music, as, as well any art, for that matter, but photography in this case, is you, you have to be immersed emotionally in what you're doing. It's, it's like things should become one. The, the camera becomes part of your body, and that way you can actually experience what you're doing and be able to capture what you want to capture.
I, I found the experience of being with nature as almost a spiritual experience. So you will see some of my portfolios are basically focused on nature and the patterns that nature are able to provide us to, for, for enjoyment, uh, such as trees or the sand dunes or the canyons. Uh, they are all beautiful forms that some uh, individuals are not even aware that they exist. Uh, printing is, to me, such an important thing uh, because you can have the best photograph in the world and if you are not able to print it in the way that you want it, uh, then you don't have a photograph. So to me, to be a photographer, you have not only to be able to capture things correctly, but also be able to print them in a way that you can actually be able to show the, what the work that you have done. Basically today I use uh, gelatin silver, the most traditional type of um, printing methods in photography. And I use also platinum because it has a different feeling and a, a different way uh, of presenting the image. Um, I like still the handmade prints because of the experience of seeing the image appearing. Um, this is something that is very attractive to, I, I think, the majority of photographers. Um, and also the ability, to, you creating with your own hands um, that piece of work is like your soul becomes part of the photograph. And whoever buys that, it doesn't just buy an image, but a part of me as well.